Hi everyone, I'm back to do a special reading. Um, this is my first time doing this reading, but I just want to let all my subscribers know and anybody that will come across this video, um, I have have mediumship in me for a minute now, but um, spirits do come to me and talk to me sometimes, but this is the first time I will be doing a mediumship psychic tarot reading i might lose the cards i might not i just see how it goes so um this is special to me um the person that i'm about to do for the first time is lo yonder i got it in my book my my journal okay i am doing the mediumship tarot psychic tarot for Yolanda Lala Brown, okay? Um, some people might or might not know Lala Brown, but she is an R&B singer, okay? She is best known for the Life Jennings S-E-X song, okay? Um, yes, so I'm just going to read some of the stuff that I have for her, if y'all don't know who she is. And I got some questions questions for her i done already got permission from the most high which is god and um her as well she wanted me to do this reading for her because and i felt like i should because when i found out that she got murdered in 2007 it really did bro break my heart break my heart because i i didn't know she was i didn't know she got killed until like like 2013 or something like that but she been she had died in 2007 but i'm finna just read what i got so far okay so yolanda lala brown and i also will put pictures in in the video i might do it in the when it first come on in the middle or at the end i, I see when i I'm, I'm really nervous though she already here so i am nervous so i never did this on camera before but anyways um Yolanda Lala Brown was born May the 20th, 1986. She is a Taurus, okay? She is an R&B singer. She is best known for the Life Genie song, S-E-S, okay? Her and her boyfriend, I can't say his name, so I hopefully I won't mispronounce it, but his name was Jatanyu Kool-Aid, Claiborne, okay. He was a producer for music. He did. He will. He will produce music, okay. Um, they were brutally murdered on October the nineteenth, two thousand nine. They were brutally murdered on October the nineteenth, two thousand seven, in their recording studio at their home in M Milwaukee, Wisconsin, okay. The case still remains unsolved to this day. Even though they do have somebody in custody, Lala saying that that is not the person that murdered her, okay? But I'm finna continue reading. She was 21 years old and she had one child at the time. Lala and her boyfriend had been dead for three days before they were found by a friend. And their autopsy reports wasn't released, okay? They never released they they never released her and her boyfriend um autopsies. Okay. Um the questions I will be asking her and what she wanted me to ask her. Now these also the questions she also wanted me to say. Cause I've been um she been like I've been I wrote this down like um three months ago. And I just decided to just do it now because she, she really wanted me to get this story out for her, okay? The first question is, how are you? Okay, so that will be the first question I will be asking Lala. Lala, how are you today? She is saying she is grateful and she is doing fine. She is in heaven, okay? So... Um, Lala, are you ready to talk about that night? 
Yes, she is. She ready to talk about it that night. For that, she is ready to talk, talk, talk about that night. We got the house offense. See, she is ready. We got the seven of wands. Um, she said the reason why it took her so long for her to come to somebody to talk about this is because the person who actually killed her he 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 did not want her to talk about it up there okay he he is dead now so yes he is in hell or whatever and he don't want her to talk about it but it's time for her to talk about it that's what she's saying and he can't stop it she's not going to say his name or nothing like that but she just wants to know she just want everybody to know out there that was a fan of hers, that they got the wrong person, and who really did it, he already died or whatever. Okay? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Um, that would be the um, next question I would be asking her. Okay, she wants me to ask... She wanted me to let y'all know, okay? This is the question she wanted me to ask her. Okay, Lala. Do your boyfriend have any beef with anyone? Because when they were talking about her, they did say that her boyfriend, Kool-Aid, um, was in tour with somebody and he owed some, some drug dealers some money, okay? So that's the question she wanted me to ask. Do your boyfriend have any beef with anyone? Or was that false? She's saying no. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody paid this person that killed them to do it. Yes. So he didn't have any beef with anybody. He didn't. Owe, he did not owe any drug dealers some money. Um, he was a very good producer in in that neighborhood, and people did not want to see them make it okay um because she's saying after she released that song with life genies like a couple of months later maybe a year later something like she just couldn't you know make music like that she she didn't have no help because she left that city that she was in when she met life and she went back to her hometown and she couldn't get no she couldn't get nobody to help her with the music, like, help her get her music out there. She got other music out there, but she wanted to become a big star, but it just, it just didn't happen like that. And Kool-Aid was a good producer in his neighborhood. And people, somebody offered, they, somebody put money on their head, okay? Somebody put money on their head, okay, um, to do that because he was a good producer, and she was a good singer. She was a great singer. She really was. Yes, a Knight of Cups, someone offered that to somebody to do that to them. Okay. Okay, I done, I done already said that question, but do you know who really killed you? Yes, she do now, but he is dead. He is deceased, and um, he's not where she did. And, um... Yeah. Clarity, the truth. Um, yes, someone, it was, somebody paid somebody to do, and, okay. She said this person was close to them. The person who offered them the money was close to them. And no, it's not life or nothing like that. It wasn't him. Um, it was somebody in their city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, it was somebody in their city, okay? Um, okay, Lala, do you get a feeling, do you get a bad feeling that night? Or do you get a, a feeling the day before or the night before or something? Do you get a feeling that something was going to happen to you or what is unknown to you? She's saying she she had she did have a feeling that night that something bad was going to happen. She said she had a dream and she seen who was gonna do it. She told Kool-Aid 
he, her boyfriend. He did not believe her because he wouldn't think someone would do that to him. Somebody that were close to them. And um, she prayed that night. She prayed that night. She prayed for her and Kool-Aid that night. It was the day before she prayed. When she had that dream, she, she prayed about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, she did tell him he just couldn't believe it. So, yeah, she did get a feeling that something bad was going to happen to her. But she, they both didn't think it was going to happen. Well, he didn't think it was going to happen. And she's saying, fellas, if, fellas. She's saying if, if somebody, if a, if a guy do watch this, she want the fellas out there to know if your woman or anybody, a mother figure in your life, anybody warn you about something, listen, I'm getting the shoes. We got the Knights of Swords. Yes. She told, um, her, her, she told Kool-Aid about it. Basically, when she told Kool-Aid about the dream she had, he went to his friend. It was his friend, one of his friends. And um, he dead now. It was one of his friends that is dead now. And he asked, you know, he didn't ask you. He was just telling his friend the dream that Lala had. Okay? So, yes, that's the Night of Souls. That's why he went and asked his friend about it. Just to get confirmation on it. And his friend did say no. King of Pentacles. Yes, it was something about some money. Regarding a woman, okay? Regarding a woman, okay? Something about some money regarding some woman. A woman, okay? Um. Okay, Lala. The next question you wanted me to ask, you know, ask you was, will you ever get justice? You and Kool-Aid. Will you ever get justice? We got the Empress. So, yes, I think she will. Yeah, she is getting justice. She already got justice when the person that killed her died, okay? She already got justice. See? The Five of Swords. Um, he got killed, too. Um, so, yeah, she did get justice. He killed her and her boyfriend and... Um, him and his woman got killed as well. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. This this new to me, and I'm still shaking up because she is like right here with me. Okay. Um. The so next question you want me to ask you, Lala, is what do you want the world to remember you by? What do you want the world to remember you by? She says she wants the world to remember her that 
she was strong. She was grateful for a lot of things. And she tried to strive for the things that she wanted to do in life for her child. And she also wants people to know, don't remember her just by the SEA song. She have other songs out there that she would like people to listen to. She was a shush girl. She was a shush girl. She loved God dearly. And she just want people to be grateful out here. She says she sees a lot of things up there in heaven that she do not like about the world. And she wished and she wished that the world would just be grateful for a lot of stuff. But she just want people to remember her that she was a good mother to her child and she do miss her very much. She watched over her daughter every day. I'm seeing her daughter crying. Her daughter do cry about it a lot. So she just want her daughter to know that she is getting washed over by her up there in heaven. Everything is taken care of for her, for her daughter. She really loved her daughter so much. And she sorry that she couldn't be there with her daughter to watch her grow up. But she just want her daughter to know that mommy love you, okay? She really do. The Ace of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. She want her daughter to have uh, have amazing fulfillments in her life. She want she wants she want her daughter to be joyful in life and, and to believe in herself. If you push your mind to it, you can do anything. That's what she's telling her daughter. Ace of Cups. You push your mind to it, you can get whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You know right from wrong. She's telling her daughter. She loves her so much, and she always watching over her in heaven. And she knows she's going to do big things in life. I keep seeing her daughter cry about it. She just want her to you know, emotional fulfillment. She telling her it's okay to cry. Just don't stay down too long, okay? Always get back up and dust yourself off. That's what she that's what she is saying to her daughter. Yes. She telling her baby to have strength. It's gonna be alright. She still she want her daughter to know that she is still around her. Every day, always. <laughs> Last was for your okay. Lala, what is the last words for your family, your friends, and your fans? This fell on the high fence. She want everyone to know that they need to stop thinking, stop having an outdated thinking on things. Life is changing, the world is changing, and it's time for us to do better. We got girl talk. Time with friends, living in the moment, have fun. She telling everyone to just go with the flow, live in the moment. She telling the young people this. Um, you don't have to rush life. Okay? Live in the moment. <laughs> Live in the moment. 
have fun. <laughs> Have fun. I'm sorry, y'all, about that. She just don't want the younger folks to just go up too fast. Okay, life is an experience. Don't rush it. Okay, because life is short. Take one day at a time and be grateful for a lot of things. Healing heart. And she also telling her daughter that as well. And she also saying, watch who your friends are. Because that's how that what this is what happened to her and her boyfriend, Kool Aid. They fussed the wrong people. And she's just saying, you just got to watch y'all backs, okay? The wall is grimy. We got healing hearts. She want people to heal as well, okay? Um. Everything happens for a reason, she is saying. So just take it one day at a time. Free yourself from toxic things. If you know it's toxic, get out of there, okay? You don't have to stay for things that ain't, for things that you can do on your own and you can get for yourself, okay? And she just want people to have a healing heart. She want people to just stop being cruel and cold-hearted. And start loving one another. Love Carla. That is love. Okay. And love the people that you. And love your family. Love people. Okay. Just love people. Even if they do do us wrong. Okay. And continue growing. She want everybody to continue growing in life. Clarity, proof, revelation. Okay, okay. Any more you want me to want me to tell them, Lala, before you go? You and Kool Aid, you and Kool Aid, okay? Yes, her and Kool Aid is okay. Three of Pentacles. They are working together in heaven, watching over her, her child, okay? Yes, holding on. They don't want to hold on to what happened to them. And they want people to know this. The lovers. Well, that was all. Um, Lala, she finna go back up in heaven. And um, that'll be all for today. This is the mediumship psychic tarot. Okay. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it and like it. I will be doing these every Sunday. I have a line of people that I need to do. The Most High is giving me permission to do certain people every Sunday. So stay tuned. This will be new on my channel every Sunday, okay? Um, I hope y'all liked it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay? I'm out, y'all. Bye.